All right. So it's going to be Procol versus Heals. Game one. Oh, we're so familiar with these decks now. So it it was actually a compromise between the two of us. You said Lightning, Lava Hound. Right. I said Mirror. Mirror. And here we go. We got Procol. Lava Pro Hound, Mirror. Procol is the hero of both of us. What's crazy is that just last week we had Giant Skeleton, right. Sparky, Goblin Barrel taking a SMC championship. Right. We may very well see now <laughs> a mirror and a baby dragon. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> but I mean, think about how baby baby dragon's kind of along for the ride. Yeah. But uh Oh, it's so, okay. So here's the thing that's kind of interesting. I don't know if this will even happen in this game, but things to kind of that could be interesting is if you can keep heals from ever getting an elixir collector going, it's hard for him to really win these minor poison races because he doesn't ever have like extra elixir mm -hmm. to defend with. Theoretically, Procol could like mirror miners and really mm -hmm. be aggressive at fighting the elixir collectors, or alternatively, if a miner is used on a tower, could like mirror collectors, mm -hmm. knowing that there's only like yes. so many ways for the opponent to counter it. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting and. As always, with the Lava Hound deck, with Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, and the other deck with Minions and Minion Horde and whatnot, you have to address the fact that what is the anti-air? It's all spells. Well, this this deck not so much, but the other deck is incredibly spell baity. Yes. You're not in a good spot. Yeah, let's let's take a look. I'm excited to see also how Tombstone does, right? Like Tombstone oh, yeah. is not really great against these minor inferno decks that's not attacking but what you can do instead if you don't need it to defend against mini packets and that kind of stuff you can put it behind your towers and defend against miners with it because mm -hmm. the miners always skeletons around it's hard for the miner to like mm -hmm. land and then also the the skeletons if unanswered build up behind the lava hound yes all right I like this I like, response is the lava hound to the bowler but i like going down the same lane because you're going to want the mega minion behind the lava hound the mega minion kills the bowler while the lava hound protects the mega minion mm -hmm. from whatever would defend yes it. Minor early on, Mega Minion oh, on the, the Mega minor. Minion. Wow, the yep. bowler might even get. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna get distracted yeah, nice. here. I like that choice. Fine, let it take. Yeah, one and hit. it takes a few extra steps and all that. And these guards aren't gonna do too much here. It's right? not gonna do anything. Well, they're actually gonna hold up the Mega Minion for a bit, but then the Baby Dragon comes down. Is there a zap? There There's is a minor. No zap. The minor is gonna. It's a little bit late, but oh, the late. other pups are gonna get defended. Right. And actually, even that Inferno Tower is not... Oh, it's going to kill Look the Baby Dragon. Look at the damage! Hard. But here Two comes the Mega pumps. Minion. The Zap is not going to help. Oh, Mega Minion's even getting a few swings! Oh, oh my god! Procol takes a tower from heels in the first minute it's of gameplay. This deck is too good. I'm telling you, I've been playing... Okay, I've been playing Lava Lightning the entire time in mm -hmm. challenges. I've never gone less than eight wins, I swear. Oh, god. So in grand challenges with Lava Hound decks. They're so good right now because, as you can see, we had a top eight dominated by Minor Inferno, dominated by Giant Poison. The lone Lava Lava Hound player is really pushing through. Now, for the record, the reason why that is offset, the, the Pro Coles Elixir Collector, is it can't be poisoned now. It's just mm -hmm. outside the range of a poison. Yes. Tombstone is, and Mega Minion is going to do very well defending that yeah. side. Just minor taking damage, and now we're setting up in this split yeah. push scenario where but you I'm, got Lava, down, Lava Hound on one side. Oh, and the Miner comes in at the exact perfect time so that the Skeleton took the first shot, but the Mega Minion was able to be tanked by the Miner, and that Mega Minion is connecting for a lot. Three hits is some yeah. 700 damage. And the Inferno, I mean, it's not like Heals wasn't doing anything. Heals did buy an Inferno Tower, but it didn't It didn't work for mm -hmm. him. Procol has, both of them now have their double oh out, but all that Fireball pushing the Purple Advantage for Procol even further. And look at the Baby Dragon! Oh doing my God. great work here. You know, we say that the Super Magical Cup is where the meta is defined week mm -hmm. after week. Players bring their hot new decks here to try and do it. And here we are. We're seeing this Lava Lightning or this Lava uh, Hound air heavy deck with Mega Minion and, and some of the other cards. Mirror helping enable some of these strategies. And it is just <laughs> rolling here in Doom game one. From the skies. Wow. 2 0. Right now, and Heels is saying good game. I think he knows that this match is over. I don't see how this deck, which is super defensive, super, you know, mm -hmm. grindy, is going to be able to take two nearly full... I mean, well, right tower's not full health. But I don't see how I can take two towers here in the next 13 seconds while yeah. not being... Yeah, I think now out. we're just getting cars being thrown around. Double helicopter, double baby dragon. <laughs> right. What'll be cool? Triple helicopter! Why not? Just fly around. Oh, man. Little jetpacks. That is an incredibly effective deck. Absolutely. And what I'm really excited about is how in... Okay, so we got... That, uh, Heels isn't out yet, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Heels still has two games to come back here. The question is, is with the Minor Inferno deck out... <laughs> Like, what is he playing? He's still playing Minor Inferno. So I would just, argue you're in even worse spot now. Because because of the it's minions, spell, right? Yeah, Again, it's, it's a right. spell baby deck now. 
Well, I don't. I mean, again, he still does have Ice Spirit Zap, but you're right. There's no Ice Wizard in this deck. Like I, I normally try to play Ice Wizard in my Minor Inferno decks because Ice Wizard's such a probably the best defensive troop in the game. Uh -huh. We've seen as if we were to go back and watch all of Pro Cole's games, if there's any one card that he preys on. It's the bowler, right? And how many <laughs> bowler decks has he come across where bowler is kind of a dead play? It doesn't really do much against his deck. And I feel like Pro Cole just correctly identified that there's going to be a lot of bowler decks in the field today and mm -hmm. is just slicing through them. So let's take a moment and think about we can We can hop into the game. Let's take a moment and think about last week's SMC. Right. So Giant Skeleton, Pekka's, yes. preying on the Giant Bowler decks, right? Preying on Giant Bowler, preying on Inferno Tower, specifically right. the Giant Skeleton. The giant Skeleton decks, you're right. And that deck won. That player won the championship. Right. Let's so, think about Procol's deck. Preying on Giant Bowler, preying right. on Inferno Tower, and yep. he's winning the Super Magic Cup. Yeah. And it shows that's the danger almost. Oh, I don't like Procol's placement there. I don't like... I think that that is the danger of playing meta decks is that mm -hmm. if somebody has built something that can cut through your deck, you're going to find yourself in a really bad yes. position here. Yes, and all these players who are playing it safe, we talked a little bit about it with Marcus35 and uh, Achan. Right. If you're comfortable playing meta decks, poisons out, poisons out of, of yep. the hand. So yep, yep. what can you know? There's Pro only Cole Zap can take advantage of this here. He does have Zap as well too. Oh, oh no! no! The Zap comes down there. But the minions are gonna chew through that yeah, Inferno they Tower. And the They've already the bought their effectiveness. And he has to reuse the poison well before the lava pumps yes. come out. So the minions can come in to back up. I think he can, he can't miner again. The miner's still a little bit out of cycle. All right, but, but still, this is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, though. and the poison's out, so how are you going to, you know, you can't poison <laughs> the Look character. at that. Oh, my God. And the fireball. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a fireball right there. Yeah, I, 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 I okay, wait. Fuck. I would fireball. Oh, my God. So, whoops, fireball comes down. Boink. Oh, gosh. 1-0 already, 1 minute 30 left in the match, and heals is just absolutely being right. destroyed. There's, what can you do, you know, against a deck that is so focused on air? I mean, I think this is, this is the, the, the exact sort of punish you'd want to see for a bunch of people. Like, a balance update came in. The balance update and the new cards were designed to prey on the existing good decks, right? Like, that's mm -hmm. what Supercell releases new cards in order to beat existing archetypes that are out there. Mm -hmm. And yet, everyone showed up with their giant bowler decks, and while they did pretty well early on, look at this! I mean, wow, hey, that was actually a great ice yeah. zap. Never mind. Take yeah. back what I said. There's still the minor um, and the... Zap does reset it, though. There's so many synergistic combinations mm -hmm. in this deck that it never ends. The and poison you're, and is right, a good time. And you're right, it really time. preys on the spell baits as well. Like, mm -hmm. you have to use poison, what, probably early for the minions, but then you need to use it late for the lava pups. Yes. So how do you, you know, it's really tough to have two poisons. Yep. So Procol's tower on the right side is actually pretty actually, low. Could die, could die yeah. for sure. In but range. I, I don't see how you can stop Procol from taking a second tower while you're mm -hmm. also fighting that tower. That right? miner is free reign on that tower. Yeah. He hasn't lost a single point of health, and he's still swinging. Now he's tanking for the for the pups. Yep, and he goes in fireballs just for some more damage, and takes the, those pumps out. So even though it looks like Procol could maybe take, there's only 10 seconds left. Oh no, he's got a poison right now just to drive it into overtime, <laughs> and that is it may not even work in overtime. Three, two, one. Uh, oh! Procol oh, takes it! Procol! Procol! You know what's crazy about this? One Can we go back and look at the bracket? I think Procol 2 0 everybody. Where's he at? 2 0 Giannis, 2 0 Delencio, 2 0 Gray, <laughs> 2 0 Isopa, Tio's. Two O's, we haven't two O's. seen that since yes. I think Justin. No, it was Interlol. Interlol, Inter Interlol right. did it in in uh, week nine of season one. Interlol was the only person to make a completely undefeated performance until Pro Cole today has matched that performance, running two Lava Hound decks to a.